Across the African continent, Senegalese Ministry of Health and Social Action on Friday reported 66 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours, bringing the total number of cases to 545 in the country. Among the 528 virological examinations carried out within the past 24 hours, 66 came back positive, including 61 follow-up contact cases and five cases of community transmission. Senegalese Health Minister Abdullahi Diouf Sar announced during the daily COVID-19 briefing. According to him, five more patients tested negative after treatment, bringing the total number of cured to 262. But he also said there is one patient in critical condition. Joining us now via Skype from Dakar, Senegal, for an update on this, it's Imo Edit, journalist with the West Africa Democracy Radio, Dakar, Senegal. Thank you, Imo, for joining us. Thank you for having me, Ben. Please bring us up to speed to the development in Senegal. Well, just like you have mentioned, uh, the cases have reached 545, and uh, we've seen 266 recoveries so far. Unfortunately, there was a death yesterday, bringing the toll in that regards to seven at the moment. So, um, the Senegalese government uh, really... Uh, they are not left out in the entire pandemic. And as such, they have tried their best to put in place measures that will help them contain, you know, the further spread of this pandemic. But again, another disturbing fact is that there seems to be more of community uh, spread as it is, uh, especially in the uh, prayer town known as Tuba. And that has really, really uh, affected how, you know, the entire measure... Uh, plans are being done. And then again, uh, the uh, government has uh, ensured that they put in place some measures uh, while also trying to uh, put in place, you know, a better uh, system that people can actually, you know, report when they have such of any of these symptoms. Uh, it's becoming difficult by the day because the cases are increasing. And that is because of the higher tests that are being done here in Senegal. Now, Imo, wait, I'm just concerned with the reported 66 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. What, what is the general disposition and mood like of the people of Senegal today as a result of this development? It's a weekend. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a weekend. And um, uh, hello, can you hear me? Go ahead, Imo, I can hear you. Okay, it's a weekend and already most people are used to... Uh, the, the, the curfew, the, the 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew is already getting to the people. So weekends like this, usually it used to be, you know, very busy day for people. But most people have decided to stay indoors. Uh, compliance level, yes, initially there was an issue with the compliance level. We saw that um, the first week there were a lot of violators. And the gendarmes here, of course, really dealt with people who violated the, the curfew. Now, the government is also thinking of ex extending the curfew further from uh, 7 7, from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, which means by 6 p.m., uh, there is a lockdown in the entire country. And part of the thing they've also done here is to restrict inter-state, inter-regional travels. If you're in the car, then you're, you're locked in the car. If you're in um, Sali, then you're stuck in Sali. If you're in Grand York, then you can move. So, that's how they're trying here. And... Um, I think they've done so much. Uh, almost a trillion sefa has been, you know, put on ground to ensure that uh, they, they, they fight this pandemic effectively. 64.4 uh, billion sefa has been already dedicated to the health sector to recover from this. Uh, already almost uh, 2 million households uh, have been met in terms of uh, bill, electricity bill payment, uh, rent payment for civil servants and the elderly uh, citizens of uh, Senegal. And um, we heard that over 8 million households also have been, uh, have received food stuff in terms of rice, uh, millet and other, you know, stable food which they consume here. So people are aware, people are very much um, in this together with the government. Uh, just last week, they made the wearing of face masks uh, very uh, mandatory here so everybody whether you're driving driving you know the street you're selling during the day you must have your face masks on so people are before now in senegal uh, there used, usually used to be this uh dust storm that comes in from the north mauritania so people are used to the face mask so it's not new but making it compulsory or mandatory for everybody uh then makes it a little bit um, awkward 
But I think people have settled into it. Uh, people have realized that, look, you can't run away from, from the pandemic. And it is, uh, except you protect yourself, and then you may uh, find yourself to blame at the end of the day. Now, Imo, many have argued that where there are more testings, the result will be more confirmed um, cases and sudden upsurge. Would you say that is the yeah. case in Senegal? Yes, that's the case. That's the case here in Senegal. As a matter of fact, like I mentioned earlier, they're very much worried about community spread. Uh, most of um, uh, here in Senegal, there is uh, just like we have in the um, in Lagos, about an expressway where you have all the prayer grounds, all the religious houses, you know, having their their larger camps there. They have a place here in Senegal called Tuba. It's a religious town. So um, the town is as you have in the central mosque in Abuja three or four times of that size. So the spreads are coming from there, and they're trying as much as they can to, you know, just contain the spread from leaving that region to this other side here. So uh, the, the more tests that are done, the more result that, you know, you get. Definitely, you cannot be there. I mean, it's happening in Nigeria. We're also seeing the same thing here in Senegal. Every day they test and then at the end of the day, we get more result. I mean, you can imagine 66, that's a whole lot. Today, it may be 70. Tomorrow, it may be 80. So the more they test, the more results, uh, you know, uh, positive and confirmed cases that they realize. Imal, thank you for joining us. And good to see you again. And right there in Dakar, Senegal, please good do stay safe. Yeah.